morning. Also, I got a chance to talk to two of the stars from the, sh the show called Sirens, and they were hilarious. Now, get this. One of them says if you want to play hooky at work to catch up on their last season, he might actually call your boss. I love it. <laughs> Find out what we're talking about right now. Now, I loved the show Rescue Me. Now coming from the comedic mind of executive producer, Dennis Leary is a hilarious and uh, racy look at the life of Chicago EMTs called Sirens. Tonight it returns for season two, so we wanted to catch up with two of the stars to see what is in store. Kevin Daniels and Kevin Bigley are here joining me. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining me this morning. Hey, you are welcome, hey Tina. There, Thank you for Tina. having us. Thanks for having us, Tucson. I like that. <laughs> Tucson. Like that. Tucson. 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 Yeah. You, you guys are, are super. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Kevin I mean, Yep, exactly. Just go after it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are super hyped up. I think it's because probably uh, tonight's the season premiere. You guys are probably pumped for that. We are so excited. I was like, the world will finally get to meet and see, I mean, us again. Uh, again. Yeah. <laughs> For a second time around. For a second time yeah. around. For yeah. more people, because you know Netflix has brought the show into people's homes now. You see that plug? That's you see like that real quick? Plug. Easy, easy. Yeah. Netflix, you can see all of season one in case you haven't, you know, you want to catch up for tonight's season two premiere. Mm -hmm. Also on demand. Also on demand. Also, also on demand. Yes, Hulu. Okay, plugs out of the way. Plugs, What's going plugs, on, plugs. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I did see on Twitter, everybody was talking about they were doing like a season one marathon, watching it all, gearing up for tonight. And everyone is uh, wanting to know if we get, is it, is it maybe accurate to say we're gonna get a little raunchier maybe? You know, I think, uh, well, I think we'll get a little everything more, but uh, but also some things. I think our edges have been smoothed out a little bit in, in some this, in some, in some areas. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like there's still like it's it's this, it's a Dennis Leary production, so there's this still going to be. This first episode is titled something that you can't say. We in can say Tucson. super dick on AMC. <laughs> it's can like we? yeah, like it's like a detective. It's about what do you think it was about? I, was say, <laughs> I don't know. You know yes. But uh, but you know it's 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 great. They still tackle these really adult themes, but it's I think it's handled. With, it's handled very smart and, and in a way that like I'm I'm, I'm kind of proud of. I'm yeah. like I'm like oh I, yeah, yeah yeah. I think the show's grown. I think it's 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 yeah, a, a lot of art, little, really good stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, and I know Hank is Hank yeah. <laughs> Hank is gonna get a, a love interest. Hank gets a love interest this year, yeah, and it, it's it's kind of fun to see uh, how those roles reverse. You know, yeah. where like last season we spent this time watching, you know, Hank be the the, the rock for Johnny and with this Teresa relationship. Will they? Should they? You know, and him being carefree, and then now he suddenly wants to maybe settle down and doesn't know how to deal with that. So he's running to Johnny like, help me, help oh, me. Oh yeah, and this guy in particular loves vinyl. Yes. Free eggs. <laughs> yes. He yes. Is a hipster. A hipster. Through and through, it's, so it's, I, I really love what they've done with it. I, a lot it, of poking fun at that. So, <laughs> well, and are they are they finally going to give Brian, you know, give him a little slack this season? Yeah, uh, Bri Brian gets put through the ringer. Uh, <laughs> he gets put through know, the ringer. What's awesome though, I feel like what's what's great is that this year. I mean, like you know, like I, I always pitch the show. I'm like, yeah, yeah, Brian's a rookie. You kind of pitch you in, but this year it's like, it's like, no, no, Brian is part of the team. He, Brian, it's like yeah, he's, he's less. He's he gets less, pretty comfortable, arguably. Like more confident. A, a he's more confident. A little too comfortable. Uh, which is, uh, yeah, he gets. Which is he, where the comedy he, lies. Yeah, though. exactly. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> That's yeah. where you find it. He gets. Yeah, Brian probably gets pretty overconfident uh, in his role and things, and uh, starts voicing his opinion a lot. So, oh, he's uh, getting. Which is an odd one to begin with. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, you get a lot of Brian. Brian takes. Uh, Brian ends up at a, at a teenage magic girl. Show? Yeah, at a, at a magic show at a teenage at a girl's prom. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Brian goes to a strip club. You got it's, it's a lot. It's really cool. All over the spectrum. You Ryan get to put goes, all yeah. these characters in just different situations now. Like yeah. it's like so we know who these guys are, and we yeah. wanted to see. Well, what happens if we put the three guys on a night shift through you know South Side Chicago? Let's see what happens. Let's yeah. see what and happens. It's always a little twist, and they, they, they've really they've done some really fun things for us. Brian and Johnny overlook a slumber party. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yep. You know, friendship bracelets, hey, friendship match bracelets. Match. It's, it's <laughs> all happening. Yeah. Well, and I have to ask to end, guys, have you actually talked to any of the Chicago EMTs, got any response about the show and what they think? 
Uh, you know, uh, we, we, we did, uh, uh, we started the season in Chicago and we did some ride-alongs, they arranged this for us, so we got to like spend a little time and like, and it's still like, you know, it's a, it's a word of mouth show, so we're still trying to like introduce folks to it. It's like, oh, hey man, you know, we're doing the show, it's about EMTs, we love it. He goes, oh wow, so you, so it's not Chicago Fire. I'm like, no, 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 it's, <laughs> it's another show called Sirens. Yeah. It's like, you know, so, we, so, so you introduce them, but then once they find it, they're like, you know what, your show is really funny. And I'm like, yeah. thanks man, you know, and like, and, and they've been really, they've been so supportive like the and they'll be the first one to say like well you know on a real job we wouldn't do that <laughs> but we're gonna give you some slack because you're tv, <laughs> yeah, yeah, TV. Yeah. but you know we're really trying to like pay pay on to honor those guys and homage and like make sure we you know you show them as the heroes that they are and like but we also want to like, kind of pull the curtain back and see how those relationships evolve and you know mm -hmm. come together we have less burn victims we have less burn victims <laughs> <laughs> fire. Yes, uh, yes. yeah 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 definitely but, uh, yeah. Well, do you live live bit i like that that's a good bit you know, yeah i'll do that you do that no, no. oh we don't do live live like pounding on the chest, we don't have a lot of that. We have, yeah, a lot more like bottles stuck in various places. Orifices. Of people. Yeah, orifices. Or, oh, from, yeah, that crevices. doesn't. Crevices? <laughs> that, that doesn't yeah. sound very comfortable at all. But so what no, what, no. what I'm hearing from you guys is you're giving us all a pass to call into work today, basically do a season one uh, marathon all day on Netflix, and then catch up tonight with you yes. guys for season two. I think that's what you should do. Just tweet your boss's phone number yeah. to me, and uh, and I'll give him a call and uh, see what I can do. No promises. Uh, I can be a very convincing guy. Mm. Uh, yeah. But yeah. So that's uh, Kevin, uh, Kevin G Ke Bigley. No, Kevin Ke Bigley. Ke Kevin Bigley. Kevin Bigley at Twitter. At Kevin Bigley. Or, or at Kevin D Daniels. You know. Yeah. And I will forward it to Kevin, and he'll. Yeah. And, and he'll and I'll call your bosses. Boss. It's great. Like, Stan, I'm serious. <laughs> You Do guys. it. I would totally call your boss. I love it. You really would. Yeah. I would just be like, look. Actually. Greg ain't coming in today, okay? Coming to Here's the deal. He's, he's binging. <laughs> he's, he's binging on sirens. He's doing sirens, not you binging on booze. You know what? We'll do, we'll, we'll, we can do this here. We can do this here. First 50 tweets we get asking you to call your boss, I'll make sure Kevin does it. Yeah, I'll do it. Sweet. I am tweeting as we speak no, no. right now. So look for, right, look for, look for my tweet. Look for my tweet. I will it. look I'm forward to it. Gentlemen, thank you so much for doing it. I know. This is, this is, I, I'm so, I, I want to know this. this I, wanna, I'm, I, I think I'm going to call to Tina. It's going to happen. You guys are, conference call. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I will definitely be looking for season two tonight. Thank you so right. much. Appreciate it. Thanks, Tina. I'll talk to your boss. Bye, Tina. Yes. Bye. Sirens returns for season two at 11 p.m. tonight on USA Network. Don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend will be right back.